guys, it's day 67 of my 60 pounds in 90 days weight loss challenge. And today, I want to talk about how you have to make a decision. You can either eat fat or be fat. Well, everyone, I woke up today. I'm pretty jazzed. My weight keeps moving down. Uh, I'm still trying to get in a bunch of water each day, which I think is totally helping with my mood as well as with my weight loss, so that's definitely something that I'm going to be a proponent of in the future and something I recommend you try as well if you're having uh, issues being moody or uh, not losing weight, having aches and pains. I really think that um, with this diet especially, and I mentioned it before, it's really easy to get your electrolytes off balance because you don't have the carbohydrates and glycogen stored up in your system which actually store water and you're also um, f using a lot of that salt and uh, potassium and magnesium uh, that's, and that's just going straight through your system. So you need to continuously replenish it with water. Also, that water is going to help increase your kidney and liver functions for detox, uh, which is uh, a lot of toxins are stored in fat. And so when they're flushing out the fat and when you're utilizing a bunch of fat, that increases the load on all your organs. And so you need to be... Uh, in increasing your water intake in order to help those uh, metabolic functions happen easier. So what I'm basically eating for the last uh, few days and what I'm probably going to be eating for the next few days for the most part is I have two bulletproof coffees or keto coffees, whatever you want to call them, per day. Uh, that is a tablespoon of Kerrygold butter, a tablespoon of now MCT oil that I have linked below. I buy it online. And then... Um, just some hazelnut flavoring so that I can get the flavor that I want, hazelnut or vanilla flavoring. Now that does have sucralose in it and I don't really like to eat much of it so I try to use it sparingly. Um, sucralose I believe can increase the insulin response to other foods that you are eating so it's definitely something you want to avoid if you're stalling or if it's hard for you to lose weight to begin with. Um, <clears throat> but I like the flavor of it and so I'm using it. If you're looking for sweeteners to use, you're probably going to want to use liquid erythritol or xylitol because um, there was a lot of questions about the artificial sweeteners that float around and uh, I'll try to do a more extended video on those in the near future so that everybody can see uh, which ones have more of an insulin response and which ones have less of an insulin response. So basically, if you're eating them with carbohydrates, like people sit down and eat a bunch of french fries and a hamburger, and then they drink a Diet Coke. Well, the Diet Coke doesn't actually have sugar in it, but it could be increasing the insulin response that you get to the french fries and the hamburger that you're already eating with the Diet Coke. So even though it doesn't add any calories, it might actually be helping your body store calories and also prevent it from accessing stored calories for energy. Um, especially if you're drinking it often throughout the day. So uh, that's something that you definitely want to be aware of. But let me tell you something. I was on a video yesterday, and they were trying to say that Bob Harper, I think his name is Bob Harper, he was one of the um, trainers on The Biggest Loser. He had a heart attack, and they were trying to say, well, it's because he was a vegan, and then he switched back to not being a vegan, and eggs caused his heart attack. Well, that's absolutely false, right? Like, I mean, it's possible that a high fat meal actually may have been the trigger to his heart attack that minute because it does start um, arterial contractions and stuff from what I understand. But it's probably long-term use of vegetable oils that caused his heart attack, right? These terrible polyunsaturated fats that are modified and processed uh, they, your body doesn't necessarily recognize them after they break down uh, in your bloodstream and eventually they just form plaque on your arterial walls and harden them and give them the, uh, less flexibility and that's eventually what will lead to a heart attack. Uh, so it's probably a lifetime of eating vegetable oil that caused the problem and vegetable oil is terrible for you. Uh, so if you can avoid it, I definitely say you should. Uh, but let me tell you something, if you are stalling uh, but you're counting your calories and you're like, hey, I'm getting only 1,500 calories and I, I can't lose any weight. and um, You know, I'm eating keto. I'm in ketosis. Up your fat. You need more fat, right? Don't go over your calorie limit because if you're getting all of your energy from, uh, you know, from 
outside sources from exogenous fat that you're adding to your system, it's still going to be hard for you to lose weight. But within your macros, eat more fat, right? Like if you're getting too many carbs and too many protein, even if you're still keto, you're going to stop losing weight. So you're going to have to choose. Do you want to continue to be fat or do you want to eat more fat? Because fat has the lowest insulin response out of the three macros, right? Out of the, the first you have carbohydrates, that's got the highest insulin response. Then you've got protein, that's the next highest insulin response. And then you've got fat, which is a very minimal insulin response. And that is going to um, mimic fasting and give you some of the benefits of fasting. Not all of them because you're still getting in calories but it's going to give you a lot of the benefits. And if you're intermittent fasting and all of your food is gonna be fat, that's just going to extend those benefits even further. So you guys, uh, fat is the focus of this diet. We've talked about it before, but if you're new to the channel, I wanna make sure that I keep reiterating it because that is what you need. You need fat in your diet. It's satiating, it's a low insulin response, and it's gonna be the key to help you lose weight. All right, guys, I put my weigh in right now at the end of the video. Please like and subscribe to the video below. Hit the little bell so you can get the notifications. And uh, you can join up on our Facebook group if you want to get support from other